Hi everybody, this is Tara Woodruff and I wanted to do a quick video um, to do a book review. I was just finished up with The Alchemist and it's phenomenal. It's one of those books that you keep things dog-eared and underlined. It's one of those books that um, you can read like a novel because it is. It's a non-fiction book about a a young boy named Santiago that follows his dream and shows huge amounts of courage and resilience and determination in following his personal legend um, and getting there. It, it's really amazing. But not only does it read easily and, and nicely like a novel, it's a good, it's really quite a phenomenal personal development book and one that I think should be studied and one I think that should be left somewhere that you can easily access it because I, I don't believe that reading it once is enough I think this is something that you need to go back to and go back to and go back to and it's it's really wonderful it was written let's see when the original published date was it was published in English in 1993 it was originally published in 1988 um, I'm not the only one that loves this book. This is uh, Will Smith's favorite. If you've ever seen Will Smith's uh, motivational videos, you really should. Um, the Alchemist is really amazing. I'm trying to see somebody else here that that loves it. Because I know everybody does. I want to get a good one. Uh, Detroit Free Press wrote, A Little Poke in the Ribs from On High. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Gerald Champolsky, he's the co-author of Change Your Mind and Change Your Life, and he writes about The Alchemist, a most tender and gentle story. This is a rare gem of a book and will most certainly touch the very core of every heart, earnestly seeking its own destiny and journey of life. Well, isn't that the truth? As you, well, if you've been reading my blog or watching my videos, you know that I'm in constant um, search for more, for better uh, personal development. I am all about getting what we're supposed to be getting and putting in what we're supposed to be putting in for life. Um, and this book really does it beautifully. It's amazing. It says, there's, there's many little hints it gives you. This one is my favorite hint. Okay. In order to find the treasure, you will have to find the omens. God has prepared a path for everyone to follow. You just have to read the omens that he left here for you. In other words, it, it's, it teaches you, or the sto it's a, a story about a, a young boy, Santiago, learning how to really trust himself and trust what he sees and trust that he knows things um, and that he is in touch with the, with the life force of the world. Um, and how he utilizes that to really fulfill himself. Um, to realize one's destiny is a person's only real obligation. All things are one. And when you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. Sound familiar? If you've watched The Secret or read the book, it's in there. Um, I can't get enough of this book. I've got so many different underlines and The boy remembered an old proverb from his country. It is said that the darkest hour of the night came just before the dawn. That is the absolute truth. I've gone on from this book and started reading uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, and that's the first 30 pages of that book are all about that one sentence. If you are looking to find something to read to help educate yourself on pursuing your passion, there are many 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 books out there um, from novels to personal development books to the classics this is one that should be on that list um, it's available at Amazon it's available at any of your bookstores you can get it new you can get it used it depends on how you like it I got it new but I think it would have been interesting if I got it used if I had underlines from somebody else um, I think that's really interesting way to do do that too sometimes I like 
used books because I can smell the coffee they were drinking or the type of cigarette they were smoking when they read it or, or, you know, just weird stuff, you know, like a tea stain or something. I like that too, so um, it's up to you. All I know is you need to get the book. You need to get The Alchemist. This particular version of The Alchemist has a flap so that you can know where you are. And because uh, both of my daughter and I were reading this at the same time, it's got a flap on both sides. You can uh, have two people reading it at the same time and know where you're at. I can't get enough of it. I'm going to add some quotes into this blog post um, from this book because I don't want to sit here and take up 30 minutes of your time just telling you how much I love this book. Um, but I do want to encourage you to get it. I have a bookstore right here on this blog. It's in there. Go get it. You can get it new or used. This is amazing. Everyone should read it. This should be taught in eighth grade. This should be required of reading. I don't know if it is anymore, if it is at all. Um, it certainly wasn't when I was in school. Um, then again, when it finally got published in English, I was out of high school. Ah! Because I graduated in 89. I just, I think everyone should read it, and I really want to impose that upon you. This is not the greatest book review, this is not one of my best videos, but I felt that it was best to do it face to face with you, instead of just trying to write it out, because I wanted you to see how just holding this book in my hand makes me glow. Let me tell you a little bit about the author, his name is Paul Kaleo, and he is a very influential author. He's written The Alchemist, The Pilgrimage, The Valkyries, By the River Pedra, I Sat Down and Wept, The Fifth Mountain, Veronica Decides to Die, 11 Minutes, and The Zahir. He's sold more than 65 million copies in over 150 countries and have been translated to over 60 languages. He has a website. If you'd like to go visit his website, it's www.paulocoleo.com, which is P A U L O C O E L H O.com. This is fantastic. So, any of his books that he has had or written are all available on my bookstore. Um, it may not be a book that I have featured, but this one is. You can go ahead and click onto that and look for, for other books by this author. It's an Amazon bookstore, so it's very simple. Um, I'm really excited. So wherever you buy it, whether you buy it from my bookstore or whether you go down to the used bookstore in your hometown to support your local economy, whatever it is, just get it, read it, get everyone in your family to read it. Um, I've got Sarah reading it. I'm going to get Arsenio to read this. Um, it's about being fearless and knowing that it's going to be all right. And if the only mission that you have is to pursue your passion, if you don't know what it is, you'll figure it out because it's, it's important. It's really important for this world to have um, the population, the human population in this world, rising themselves up to the highest vibration they can be at and really pursuing their passions because only then are we going to really get peace, I think. Anyway, so there. Get the alchemist. Goodbye. Have a beautiful day.